Hello, hello, Miss Ebony back with another video. Please excuse my hair. Hair day. Not so good. But guess what? It's not going to stop me from cooking today for you guys. Today we are having an unhealthy meal. Okay, it's not totally unhealthy, but I am frying up some buffalo fish, okay? We're going to fry this baby up and it's going to be delicious and crispy the way mama likes to cook it. Now, normally I cook a lot of healthy meals. I like to boil, broil, and bake my foods. But occasionally, you know, we all can use some delicious, crunchy, crunchy fish. And I love buffalo fish. And you know, while you're cooking, it's always good to have a mmm. Mmm. Oh, an unhealthy drink. <laughs> yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Unhealthy. So, right now, I have some things kind of already pre-prepared. Uh, so, you know, cut down on the time. I've already started to grease. Got it nice and hot. So, I have pre-prepared my potatoes. I cut them up. I left the skin on them. Marinate them in this delicious fry seasoning and these seasonings you can get these at the dollar store okay and guess what we're gonna put on our fish yep slap your mama slap your mama anyway this is so good <laughs> okay so we got the buffalo fish marinade and watch her i have washed my fish several times there's nothing like some nasty food okay some food that's not clean okay so this is the buffalo fish this is called buffalo ribs okay so I've already cleaned my fish now I'm putting my seasoning on my fish slap your mama okay we're shaking it we're shaking it ooh, 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 ooh. and I'm gonna put a little cayenne pepper because I like it hot and black pepper. Black and black. Oops, <laughs> got a little too excited there. So, mixing it up, getting it all over that fish. You want to just smother it. The smothering seasoning, okay? You want to have that delicious, delicious taste. You know, I have not been in the gym since the corona started. I got to get back in that gym. Arms not looking too luscious right now. I'm going to get those Obama gal arms going. I'm going to get them banging, huh? <laughs> anyway, just want to, you know, chat with you all. And the next thing I'm going to, uh, I plan on cooking is some something baked. The other day I made lamb and rice. Oh my God. My lamb is so good. I marinate my lamb in so many different peppers. It has a natural taste. You don't have to put no nothing on it. I mean, it's just all natural marinated baked seasoning. And it just runs straight through that lamb. And then I cook that rice. Lay that lamb on top of the rice. Oh, my God. You don't need gravy. You don't need nothing. I mean, it's that good. Okay, let me stop bragging. Okay. <laughs> Miss Ebony. Likes to talk smack when she cooks. So, look. See how, how it looks? So, we got that situated. I am doing my brown bag special, which is shaking it up in the bag like I uh, did on one of my previous videos when I was making my chicken strips. Okay? One thing about when you're getting ready to fry your potatoes uh, <coughs> excuse me, you guys, that was the peppers. That was not anything else. I'm not sick. I feel good. There you go. I put one over here. Ooh. Did you guys hear that? That's fine. Okay. You're going to see some action now. Look at this. I plan on getting me an iPad tripod. I think it'll make it a lot easier. For what I'm trying to do. 
You see that? That was one of the potatoes that is frying. Now, what I'm going to do, take the rest of them. I like to put them on here so I can just lay them on here and it take out the excess um, water because sometimes you have too much on there, too much water, and it gets to popping. And I let my potatoes marinate in my seasonings that I like. And I also switch up on my seasonings as well. So my seasonings aren't always the same because I don't always want my food to taste the same. But see, this is how I do it. So I can put it in the hot grease. And I'm about to put it in there right now. And I've been burnt so many times because I don't normally, like I said, don't really normally fry foods. But when I do, I have to try to be extra careful because I will burn myself. One day I caught myself trying to barbecue. Now I don't grill, okay? I grill inside, but not outside. I almost burnt down apartments. Yeah, that was like years ago. Caught myself, thought I was going to get ready to do some barbecuing. Darren fire was going up the, I don't know what happened. It came off the grill, it was just going up the side of the, the pole or something. What do you want to call it? The, anyway, it was going upside the apartment and I was like, oh my God. But it was okay. I put it out. So after that, I have never touched the grill after that. I like to grill. I like to watch other people grill, but I don't grill. So here you have it. So while that's cooking, I also had my um, my other pot over here for the fish. I don't like to cook fish, chicken, or, or potatoes or whatever in the same uh, grease. So I like to keep it separate and then I dump it. I don't really use grease like that. You know, unless it's clean, uh, somewhat clean. Um, and normally I don't fry my fries. I like to bake them because when I bake them, they don't have the grease on them, and they kind of taste like chips. So you know. Now, I've already previously put some meal in here. Mama, 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 mama. This is not slap your mama. This is mama. And you could also buy the same thing if you want to use it for your chicken. This right here is for the fish. So I'll just put one fish in here. It's a brown bag, you know. Shake it, shake it. So I'm putting another piece in here. Woo! Ooh, I don't need to shake it too hard. I'm an arm shaking. That ain't good. Mama gotta hit that gym. Yes, Miss Ebony gotta get on it. Gotta get gotta get right. Gotta keep it up. Keep it elevated. Okay. La, 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 la. No, I can't sing, but I do sing. I'm gonna good today, you guys. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. Shake it, shake it. Okay. You guys probably saying, Miss Evening, not today. I know. You just want to see this fish frying in this hot grease. But guess what? You about to get it. Getting it. You got to get it. Okay. See how covered it is. Put a little bit more in there. You know, you want to make sure, you know, every part of it is covered. You get ready to put it in this grease. Okay. Okay, so I plan to just put the rest in there. Because as you can see, the grease is hot enough for it. And that's what you want. You want your grease hot, okay? La, la, la. So, while I'm cooking, let's discuss a few things. I know you guys are probably ready to get on back out here, get to shopping, and um, watch the movies, the casino. I know I can't wait to go to the casino. Spend money I don't have. But anyway, nothing wrong with that. 
long as it's in moderation. You guys have to remember, just because this might come to an end, remember, save money. You never know when something might happen and you need to pay your bills and you don't have time to wait on the government. So it's always good to have six months to a year in savings. I try to at least maintain six months of my bills for if something happens. I learned that because of situations that I have been in in the past that has taught me better. So we have to learn from my mistakes. We can't keep making the same mistakes after mistake after mistake. And you guys, just depending on other people and depending on the government, you just can't do that. I mean, you're going to have to try to have multiple streams of income at all times. I know we get tired of working. I mean, I know I do. I work 24-7. And I'm tired, but guess what? When I do buy things for myself, I feel good because I know I worked hard and I feel like I deserve it. When I take my trips because I do like to travel, hey, I know I work hard. I deserve this trip. And it feels good to not have to depend on someone else to pay your bills. Especially a woman. As a woman, you do not want to have to depend on no one paying your bills. Especially when you're dealing with these men out here. Because some of these men ain't right. They will take your situation and they will try to benefit from it. Or they will try to, you know, talk down to you and try to, you know, have you try to have you do things that you don't want to do. That's not, you know, respectful as a woman. Um just so you can pay your bills or take care of your family. So, take this time, you guys, to revise a plan. So, if something else happens uh, like this, because this could come up again or something worse, we don't know. And so, you want to just make sure you stay prepared for if some, some other pandemic, you know, come along. Because we don't know. Um... But we do need to be prepared, and we do need to stay, try to stay on top of our game, you know, as far as our finances are concerned. I am not a financial specialist. Uh, my degrees are in psychology, technical writing, and uh, BA, MA. I'm currently working on a second MA in counseling, and I am a licensed realtor, but my license is inactive because... I'm working on other projects. I'm an author of three books, only one published. And I'm not bragging. What I am letting you know is you need to always, you need to always have goals. You need to always have something that you're working towards and complete them. And if you don't complete a goal, you need to revise your plans, find a goal that you can complete and complete it, okay? Because you always want something to fall back on. Yes, you might have degrees. Yes, you might, um, you know, have a good man or, or, or whatever the case may be. It's a little dark, so I'm moving it around here so you guys can see me. Yes, all, all those things. But at the end of the day, you know, you need to be able to take care of yourself. My parents always taught me uh, to be able to take care of myself, whether I'm married or not. And I have been married, and I've been engaged a few times, but it's not about that. It's not about having someone to take care of me, because when I was married, me and my husband took care of each other. We work as a team. So for those that are married, you guys need to work as a team and come up with a plan, so that way if something happens, you guys will be okay financially, mentally, and spiritually. As a single person, you got to excuse me, my glasses pop it up. I'm not wearing my contacts today. I didn't feel like putting my contacts on for this video. I'm like, well, I'm going to wear my glasses. Um, as a single person, you need to also have a plan, okay? And if you have a, a, if you're in a relationship, you have a boyfriend or whatever, hopefully you guys thinking alike. You guys need to come up with a plan. 
So make sure you have you got you need to have an A, B, and a C. You know, at first I've always had an A to B, but I I just recently started having a C because it's just you just never know. And at the end of the day, if something was to happen, it's all on me. It's because that's who it is, just me. You know, I'm divorced, I have a son, and I still support him as needed. And um so it's just ills with deals. Plus, I have to take care of my health. You know, as we get older, we have to take care of our health. We're not the same people. Our bodies change. You know, it's just like a car. You go buy a car, what happens? It starts breaking down. What What do you need to do? You've got to get it fixed. You have to keep the upkeep up on your car. Oil changes and different things, okay? You have to keep your body, you have to keep your body kept. You got to keep, it up, keep the upkeep up on your body. Let me put it like that. Okay, and then your mental state. You need to keep that together. That's so easy <laughs> for a person to just come on a wrap. <laughs> anyway, so work on that. You know, you might want to look at those things. And then your financial, your financials. Sit down and write up your bills. See, see what you can pay off first. Start with the smallest bill. And you'll work your way up from there. It's not that hard. Um, so... Because then that way, if something happens, your money that you have put up for your emergencies, you can you won't you won't be taking a chunk out of it every month because your uh, debt to income is very low. Okay, so let's check on this food. Mm, mm, mm. When you're cooking your fish or chicken, especially if you're frying, this is great because you don't want to poke a hole in your food with like a fork and trying to turn it over and stuff because what happens, it draws the flavor and the juices out and then the grease goes in there and makes it even more greasier. And then sometimes it can dry your food out. Same as baking. You know, when you bake your food, you use these little things here. You know what? I just had a moment, you know? get what you call things these days just call them what you want to call them okay so the food is looking good and tell you what we're just gonna keep this food frying and again uh, my next meal will probably be something baked or broiled um i want to do a video showing you guys how to prepare lamb because lamb is really good and it's really healthy for you. Uh, I actually like lamb over beef. And I don't eat ground beef. But I will eat, uh, occasionally I will eat the uh, beef, strip, the steak, strips of steak. And I have to be careful with that because it makes my stomach hurt. But when I when I buy lamb and eat the lamb, I have no problem with lamb. I have no problem with lamb, chicken, and um, buffalo fish. I don't eat catfish anymore due to biblical reasons but this is the thing i'm not perfect but i am striving to be better and that's something that we all need to do we don't have to be perfect we just need to strive to be better so let's do it together you know all my videos are not cooking videos and will not be sometimes we'll have coffee time sharing time um as i learn how to edit my videos because I keep saying I'm gonna learn how to edit my videos but I get sidetracked with other stuff and then I don't do what I need to do with the editing thing but I will because you guys will notice as time go on my uh videos will get better you know okay so in to the buffalo two video the food will be done. So, please like my video and subscribe. And look, look, click, click my Buffalo 2. Let's see how the food look and taste. Okay. So, I am about to stop this video. I'm going to let the food finish cooking. Then I will uh, post another video right behind this one for part two over and out with ebony